Hello, today I'm going to give you a simple introduction about the e microinverters. This is the e microinverter system diagram, including PV module, microinverter, ECD, router, and so on. Microinverter converter DC current to AC current from PV module and power the loader. If there is excess energy, it can be sold to grid. The plant information can be monitored by PC and smartphone when data log connected. This page tells main components of the microinverter system. ZigBee PLC is for communication between ECD and the microinverter. And the ECD connects Wi-Fi module to send and receive information from platform. The microinverter has three series, 230 volts, 50 hertz, 208, 240 volts with 60 hertz, 127, 220, 60 hertz respectively for Euro market, American market, and the South African market. Um, these products are certified by VDE, UL, and Motor. Also, for the first generation microinverter, it needs ECD and the Wi-Fi module for system remotely monitoring. However, for the new generation microinverter, with built-in Wi-Fi mod module design, the ECD is not needed anymore. This page it tells some 500 volts model main parameters. As we can see, it can connect two pieces PV model at the power range 210 to 410 volts, and it has two MPPT with maximum DC input voltage of 460 volts. MPPT voltage range of 25 to 55 volts. Maximum output power is 600 volts and uh, with 1.6 kilogram. This one is 1.2 kilowatt with 230 volts output voltage and 50 hertz. It has a wider range of AC output voltage of 184 and 265 volts. It can connect four pieces PV model with four independent MPPT. There are two AC cable terminals on its body, which is very convenient to connect in the solar system. ECD is used to communicate with the microinverter via PLC or ZigBee and send the solar station information to platform for remotely view and setting. Also, it needs to connect Wi-Fi data log by RG45 cable. One piece is ECD supports maximum 32 pieces microinverter connected in the solar system, which could save in initially equipment investment. The Wi-Fi plug connects router and transfer solar system information to server, allowing users analysis and the manager of each microinverter and the module by PC and the smartphone. The year second generation MECD, built in ZigBee PLC and the Wi-Fi module, so it doesn't need additional Wi-Fi data log. What's important, it includes a DI input for remotely control microinverter shutdown. This page tells main parameters about MECD. As it shows, maximum 32 pieces microinverter connected load for one piece MECD. It has OLED screen and LED indicators. Plus, it is compatible with single-phase and three-phase system. This is MECD application diagram. When there is a single come to DI input from the distribution box, the MECD will give command to microinverter connected and turn it off quickly. This application is very suitable for American UK solar rooftop market for its quickly shut down features. This page tells the e microinverter monitoring interface. As we can see, it tells microinverter system information, including plant layout and the generation in the curve. Also, we can see each panel's generation data clearly. This chapter mainly tells the e microinverter system advantages. There are four main features, handle years, safe, user-friendly, and smart. The biggest difference of microinverters and string inverters is that each PV model works independently at their maximum capability. As we all know that for the central inverter or string inverter platform, one MPPT is for a for whole array. However, different models have different power points caused by module tolerance and lighting conditions. 
from the blue picture, when there is a four or part, um, partial shading or shadow on the one module, does not affect others. But for the central inverter or string inverter, in case of shadow, the energy harvest of the entire string um, drops dramatically. This right picture shows when one piece is PV module suffered a full shadow, the whole string PV array can produce energy neither. It is reported that microinverter system improves system power generation efficiency by 5% to 15% on the shadow conditions compared with string inverters. Thanks to the module level MPPT without short board effect, effect suitable the PV system with the different module and the different orientations, microinverter system can be installed on any available space. Regardless of shading, orientation to the sun, or module toner tolerance, such as the first picture shows, the system includes different type PV module. For this application, microinverter is strongly recommended. Also, the system capacity is not limited and free to expand. Plus, microinverter is suited to floating solar power plant since its unique installation method and the IP67 protection degree. What's more important, microinverter system is, is more safer compared with string inverter system. For the microinverter system, its maximum DC input voltage is less than 60 volts, so there was no safety hazards such as electric shock or arc fire. Secondly, the DC and the AC is isolated, more security for residents' roof power plant. As for the string inverter system, the DC voltage is about 200 to 800 high voltage. There are potential safety hazards such as electric shock and fire. In addition, almost 19% stream inverter adopts transformless design so that the DC and the AC is not isolated. According to the proposed 2017 NEC 690 may require shutdown of mechanism at module level to improve system safety. With the unique features, microinverter system is more easily complied with this code. According to the reports, more than 80% of fares in the PV power stations are caused by the DC side force and the arc sparks. And the arc sparks caused by the DC high voltage are the direct reason of the fares. For PV model, when there is a hot spot effect, it will increase the local current of solar cell, which results to, in a local temp temperature rise on these cells, causing the model's ignite to lead fire. However, for the microinverter system, when there is a hot spot effect, it won't affect other model in the system. The e micro inverter has smart monitoring function. On the monitoring platform, we can see each panel st states such as PV voltage, current, and the power generation. With the module level monitoring, problems can be fast located in the front, improve the maintenance efficiency. Blow pictures shows monitoring platform interface of a PC and a smartphone app for the e micro inverter. This page shows how to set parameters for the e micro inverters on the monitoring platform such as setup and the grid voltage and the frequency prediction parameters. And the picture on the right, it shows how to use command to read and set parameters. The e micro inverters has quickly self-test program to automatically diagnose overhaul system after installation. When fault occurs, the indicators of a micro inverter will blink in red. Also, it will show fault code on the platform. The e micro inverter comes with two pieces AC ports to make installation easier and fast. With IP67 protection degree, it is able to adapt to a harsh environment thanks to the model and the chamfered design. The microinverter surface is smooth and comfortable. Project reference. This is 14 kilowatt rooftop PV plant with the e microinverter. Since the installation is not completed, so we can see the microinverter is, is on the rooftop. This PV power plant is 12 kilowatt. It's located in Dewey Industry Park. This is all. Thank you.